Hello, I'm Woody Elmore, and I'm here to encourage you and to try to challenge you uh, in the areas of relationship here. And this little uh, short segment I'm here to share with you is called Get a Vision. And for the most part, I'm going to be speaking to the young people, the young man, the young ladies, uh, because sad to say is there's so many uh, babies having babies and they're not equipped uh, to uh, follow through. Uh, young men out there, uh, you know, planting their seed everywhere and they're not willing to be fathers. And the young ladies, they, they're not trained to be a housewife and, uh, you know, or, or to even to be a mother and they're giving their children to their grandparents and, and a bunch of things like that. And so, uh, I've entitled this a get a vision young men you gotta man up you gotta to get a vision of who you are become who you are who God intended you to be and young ladies you gotta you know know who you're getting involved with and and, and just don't give yourself away but uh, you know wait for that special person a, a true man not just a little boy toy but have a man of a man in your life here so the book of Proverbs chapter 29 verse number 18 it tells us here where there is no vision the people perish and so we see so many relationships perishing uh, young men not sincere they're just running around uh, dating and this one and that one and having all kinds of girlfriends and, and hurting our young ladies and our young ladies get so hurt uh, that they feel so low, low self-esteem that they just give themselves away and it's really uh, a mess but if you could just get a vision so young man you got to ask yourself the question where am I going where am I going to lead my family to? Because see, as a young man, you're asking a young lady to uh, leave her 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 parents, and and uh, you're you're asking them to leave uh, free food, free room and board, and and stability in her life to come and live with you, and you don't know where you're going. So we have a classic case of Saint Matthew chapter 15, verse number 14: the blind leading the blind. And so you're asking a young lady to come follow you, live with you, and you don't know where you're going. You don't know, you know, what you're gonna do for the next 50 years of your life, and you're wanting to start a family. And 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 really, young ladies, if you got a man like that, uh, you you really don't have a man. You have a little boy that doesn't know what he's doing. He just wants to uh, to play, but uh, you know, and it's gonna bring a lot of hardship in your life, a lot of frustration. So we need uh, young men that have a vision, have a goal, uh, because the Bible says. In Genesis chapter 2 verse number 15 before God ever gave Adam his wife Eve he first gave Adam a job and that's good to work but uh, this word dress here uh, he said he told Adam God told Adam to dress the garden that just doesn't really uh, just mean work that that is a definition of it to work and we are to have a job praise God for the young men that do work uh, but he's not just talking about a little job at McDonald's or you know uh, little jobs here doing that uh, although we need a job but he's talking about literally um, the Hebrew word uh, 56 reference number 5647 literally means uh, not just to work but to become and so God wants you to have a vision of what you are to become God says before I bless you with a young lady in your life he said I want you to become somebody uh, whether it's in ministry you got to know who you're gonna become if you're a pastor or an evangelist or or not maybe you're not even in ministry uh, maybe some of you watching are not even saved don't go to church but still God wants you to become who and have a vision of who you want to become a uh, higher education you know uh, to maybe have uh, your own company or, or he wants you to have a vision of what you want to become who you want to become but but don't just play it fly by night uh, uh, moment by moment not knowing where you're going or what you're gonna do but God wants you to have a plan he wants you to, to to learn how to become a man save up some money now while you're single so you can pay for the wedding or buy a good uh, you know wedding ring uh, you might not even be uh, with somebody right now but learn to save up put a, a little money aside here and there for a wedding or for a you know a honeymoon different things like that learn to save learn to budget learn to work because a true man is gonna do these things you got to have a vision have a goal of where you're going in life uh, because God wants you to do that and so yeah us young men we've got to get a vision we've got a you know because uh, a young lady 
uh, is going to give her life to you, is going to join you in this life. And, and you don't want to just have a life full of frustrations and broken dreams because a lady, she's going to be equipped to help you. Okay? And so uh, what I'm going to share with you is uh, Genesis chapter 2, verse number 18. Uh, God calls the woman a helpmeet. Literally, uh, reference number uh, 5828 means to aid or to help. So a young woman is designed by God. Now listen to this young man. She is designed by God to assist you, to help you, to become what is envisioned in your life. What you uh, have envisioned for your life together, she's to help you work for that. Okay, because you are the one with the vision. You're the man of the home. You're the leader. And so you've got to have a vision. So young ladies, uh, you're asking the wrong question. You're asking, do you love me? Are you going to be there for me and stuff like you? Of course, he's going to say he loves you. But the important question you got to ask is, where are we going to go? What are we going to do for the next 50, 60 years of our lives together? What do you have a plan of action? Do you have a, you know, a goal, a vision of where you're going to lead us and take this family? Uh, because uh, if he doesn't, then you don't really have a, a, a real man. You have a little boy and you want stability in your life. You want somebody that's going to work, somebody that's got goals and vision that says, I'm going to go here. And, and because God designed the woman to help him to achieve those goals because a woman brings into the relationship she brings intelligence she brings wisdom intuition she has skills and ideas and dreams she has an imagination amen and she could just come and help you fulfill those dreams and those goals that you have but but see uh, a lot of times there's frustration in this uh, relationship uh, because the man doesn't have the vision he doesn't know where he's going he doesn't know what's going to happen next month or what job he's going to have or where they're going to stay. There's so many young men uh, bring their girlfriends in and they live with moms and dads and uh, let grandparents raise the babies while they're out having fun and we just have a, you know, a big mess on our hands. But we really got to get a vision, young man. Man up, young men out there. Man up and you young ladies, wise up. Quit just giving yourselves away with anybody just because, uh, you know, you think he's Mr. Don Juan and Mr. Handsome. Uh, you know, wise up and, and, and keep yourselves uh, and, and, and let a true man come your way that's going to have a vision and goal to take care of you and provide for you. Because, man, uh, there's a lot of people out there that are doing nothing. And that's why a lot of wives later say about their husband, he's good for nothing. That's why a lot of in-laws say about our young men today of society, they're good for nothing. They're, they're, they're not a, a true man taking care of responsibilities, but it's all because we fail to have a vision. So young men, I, I, I want to encourage you, study how to become a good husband. Study how to become a good father, a good provider. Be a man of steel and a man of velvet. A, a man of steel is one that can correct, one that can guide, one that can teach, one that can provide. A, a man of velvet is one that can love, one that can comfort and, and nurture, full of compassion, one that can give affection. We have so many husbands out there that don't how to give their wives affection don't know how to you know uh, buy them little gifts or romance them uh, you know say they're beautiful and say I love you and uh, don't know how to buy them flowers and send cards uh, things like that they, they 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 think because I'm a manly man I don't do that uh, but be a man of steel and a man of affection and, and men young men it's time to man up it's time to you know get a vision and so I want to encourage you with that uh, young ladies it's time to wise up uh, and don't just give yourselves away, uh, but uh, give yourself to a true man. And so I just want to share this with you young people because there are so many marriages failing, so many uh, things that are happening out there, uh, babies having babies, uh, all, all kinds of our young ladies getting hurt because uh, young men are just uh, going with several different partners and you know, there's just no guidance. And, and so I'm trying to do my best. To, even if I could reach one and encourage one to man up and become a man, it's worth it all. My prayers are for our youth, for marriages today, because there's been such an attack on uh, marriage relationships and such an attack on our young people. And so I'm doing my best to, to challenge you. And I'm praying for you. In Jesus' name, I just want to say God bless you. Bye-bye.